Hey, welcome to this episode of Get Therapy. I'm Michael. I share my knowledge of musical gear solutions, which are cheaper and better, in my opinion. And today, I'm gonna announce the version 2 of a sample player, which is just way more efficient than before. Let's go. So months ago, I released my first instrument plugin, AA Sample Player, free for both Mac and PC, link in the description. And in the first version, I just took the most important part of a sample player, then cut the other shit out, making it super efficient. Turns out people really enjoyed it. When you want to load and play a sample, you just drag and drop it, then start playing. No other annoying bullshit. If the tool is simple and efficient, then you got more time for improving your music. And now, I want to introduce you the version 2 of a sample player, which is way more efficient, and uh, I think it might change your workflow forever. But firstly, let me show you what problem I want to solve this time. So for regular sample-based music creation, the most time-wasting part for a producer is actually not manipulating the sample. It is scrolling through samples in your library again and again and again, choosing the perfect one to use in the music. And just for this part, it can be really time-consuming. Usually, when you are downloading sample packs, what you get is uh, different categories of samples separated into different folders, like uh, a folder of kick, a folder of snare, hi-hat, cymbal, synth pads, plugs, bass, etc. And when you are actually making music with them, you need to at least preview them, then decide if you want to use it in your music. If you are on Mac, then lucky you, you can just use spacebar in your finder to preview the sound. If you are on PC, then you need to install a third-party add-on for your folder to recognize this file and use spacebar to preview it. But uh, the experience is just horrible. And usually, when I want to preview a sample, I don't only preview it in its original pitch, I also want to at least manipulate it a little bit, like uh, change the pitch by changing its playing speed, or just reverse it, which will help me get out of the original sample's vibe pretty efficiently. It's really important for me. But uh, no matter if you are using Mac or PC, they will always play it in its original mode, which is not that inspiring. And also, what is more important is that when you want to tell if a sample fits the music, it should also be previewed in the mix. If I can preview a manipulated sound right in the mix, it'll be perfect for me. And uh, that is what I did with my AA Sample Player version 2. You can preview the sample right in the mix and at the same time manipulate it in a really efficient way. Now, let me show you how it works. So for the first version of my A sample player, after you loaded a sample, don't feel like using it, want to switch to another one, you need to drag and drop another one from your file folder or hit load button. But now, with version 2, after you dragged or loaded a file, this plugin will guide to all the files in that file's root folder. And you can use these newly added buttons to navigate samples right inside of this plugin. And I specifically added the keyboard shortcut button, left and right, to control the previous and the next button switching. And I just love the tactile feel while you are playing your instrument. It's super efficient and convenient. But remember, the keyboard shortcut button will only work if the plugin window is on focus. Otherwise, it will only trigger your DAW's shortcut. This feature might be simple, but if you combine it with other features, this plugin will totally change your workflow. Remember what I mentioned in my Anyamp IR introduction video, that uh, I always rely on DAW's built-in preset management. So no matter which plugin I'm using, the workflow for changing preset stays exactly the same, really brain cell saving. By the way, Anyamp IR is also free. It's a super efficient way to replace all of your guitar and bass amps. Link in the description. And if you combine this feature, which is already supported by a sample player, once you save the sample as a DAW preset, then you will be able to restore all the samples in that file folder. And since I'm using GarageBand, I can just use my QWERTY keyboard to switch between DAW plugin presets. Really efficient. Which means if I have my favorite folder of kicks, snares, hi-hats, and other instruments, I can just save one file from each folder as a DAW plugin preset. Then, once I'm done with one track, 
I can just duplicate that track, saving me time for adding that same plugin again. And now, I can just switch to another DAW plugin preset, which will help me change to another set of instrument. And then, I can just use left and right key to navigate through different instruments. Really efficient. And uh, what's even more amazing is that no matter how many files are there in that folder, no file is duplicated on your expensive storage and your very limited RAM. I respect every inch of money you paid for your device. I don't want to force you to upgrade to a new device. By the way, if you're on iOS version, the load button is updated to batch load, and you need to use the batch load to achieve file switching. Again, no file duplicated. And this is not all. Other than this feature, I also added quite a few improvements after the plugin debut, like uh, endpoint control, loop, etc. They're not as exciting as the file switching to me, but you can find all the details on the product page, link in the description. Now, let's talk about the price. So I put the first version of a sample player to be free, because I always want people to know that there can be a cheaper and better solutions out there. And uh, this is the first priority of my plugins. This goal has never been changed until this day. But at the meantime, I do need a certain amount of money to survive from this crazy world and keep doing things like this, creating more easy to use plugins and share it with the world, with you. So I have to make two decisions for me to keep doing this. For desktops, A Sample Player version 2 will only be available for my Patreon. And for the plugin tier, you will get all the exclusive plugins, my previous sample packs and projects, and also the invitation to my private Discord server and private regular streaming, which I'm currently planning on. But if you don't feel like keep supporting me, then you can just grab it and unsubscribe. It's totally understandable. The version 2 is not a subscription model. You can totally use it offline. The Patreon subscription is only for supporting me to keep doing this. If you don't feel like paying anything, and uh, you think that version 2 is not that appealing to you, you can still grab the version 1 for free. But if you do want to support me, please consider to join my Patreon. That is where you can get the desktop version 2. And uh, for iOS version, I decide to raise the price from $0.99 to $2.99, I mean $2.99, which is the same amount of a cup of coffee. But if you already own iOS version, then this update will be free for you. You can also buy me a coffee through in-app purchase, which I just added. If you don't already own iOS version, then you can feel confident to support me right now. Because as far as I can foresee, the price of my product will only go up, never down. I don't like to trick my users with a much higher price and then do regular price drop to trigger more exposure and sales. I just hate that, and that feels really cheap to me. So I'll try my best to not do that to my users. By the way, iOS version also supports Logic Pro X on iPad. So to wrap them up, for desktops, A Sample Player version 1 is still available and free. And the version 2 is only for my Patreon. Comes with Mac, Audio Unit, and VST3, Apple Silicon supported. And for PC, it comes with VST3. And they are all in 64-bit. For iOS, you can directly get the version 2 for $2.99. I already linked everything in the description so you can check them out. Hope you enjoy my extremely efficient approach for music production workflow. Again, if the tool is efficient, then you got more time on improving your skill and your music. To me, it's way more valuable than guessing on another new gear, which basically just does the same job. That's it for this video. Leave a comment if you have any question. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out my plugins, link in the description. And please also consider to support me through my Patreon. And I'll see you in my private Discord. Peace.